Hey guys, OxyClutch here on Day 1 Update, and I'm actually bringing you guys a uh, quick little tutorial here on uh, Project Spark if you have not noticed yet. And uh, as the video title implied, I'll be doing a little bit of uh, terraforming, um, some simple mountain range, you know, elevations, the elevations, and I'll be just showing you kind of what I've created here. And I'll just make it kind of the best way and tactics that I've kind of thought up of uh, whenever you come to building land formations here. So this is kind of the little area that I've created. Um, I've created a small kind of beach end little pond as well as a little uh, pondish like area here in the mountains. Um, I'll be showing you guys how to do a simple way to make these mountains, make it all look kind of naturalistic towards uh, Project Spark and the way it is and as well as getting the snow covered on the top, which is a lot more simple than you think than just switching paint brushes and stuff like that. Um, and how to add the trees in there without you know using the props and go and select them and uh, and it's just a nice little simple thing that we can do and I'll just kinda show you what I've been doing in Project Spark and uh, I've had a lot of questions and I hopefully this is one video that will answer some of those questions so I'll see you guys in the uh, empty world <laughs> Hey guys, uh, so we're here in the empty world here, as you can see, clean slate, nothing really much. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in here. So first thing that I usually do is I usually go straight to um, add or subtract uh, first thing, and I like to keep it on the uh, cylinder cylinder shape and scale it up roughly about 75-ish kind of area. And then you kind of pick a spot and make sure that in your free slots, uh, you pick the right terrain you would like to use. I like to use the kind of the grassy uh, forest kind of uh, terrain and you just go ahead and select that. And um, basically what I like to do is I scale it up and then basically you want to just tap it. You know what I mean? You want to just kind of go around, go up and down, get the uh, land mass that you want covered up. Kind of just go around, go up behind it a little bit, just go around, tap, tap, tap. And, uh, and you know, you get that little mountain range kind of getting created here. So what we see here is we already got something here, you know. We already have some sort of mountain. It's really cylindery. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the term for that would be. But, you know, we already got something here. And it's already kind of taken its own shape. And as I'm just kind of going here, adding a little bit more. And um, so... Um, like I said, same thing, I'm just going to be adding like a uh, little backdrop here um, so we can create our little pond. I'm basically just uh, copying what I did in the uh, first part of the video that you saw, that kind of world uh, looking thing. So I mean, this 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 way of doing things is really simple, um, just, just go around tapping stuff like that. And uh, another thing what you want to do to make that kind of rivery pondish feel is uh, you can stay in this. You can stay inside of the uh, add or subtract. And basically you want to be level and you want to get dipped down a little bit. You want to dip down and do the subtract so that you kind of get that elevation, you know, dipping down a little bit so you can kind of see it and it's all even and stuff like that. So I'm going to take out a little bit of this and we'll clean this up. Uh, sure enough here in a second but uh, you know we just kind of get want to get everything that we can down uh, just so we can have something to work with so now what we have is we kind of have this little uh, kind of beach-ish kind of feel we'll be adding some dirt in there and then we'll be adding some a little bit more terrain and um, whatnot so um, to make your mountains now a little bit more realistic we go to the erode and expand tool and what I really stress about this is, while well, this uh, eagerly saves, um, is you want to very much just go around and tap it. So pretty much the name of the game here is going around, very quickly tap stuff so it kind of uh, takes its shape. And remember to just go up and down, all around. You can hold it a little bit more up top, you know, get a little bit more... Um, elevation going on but when you're around here on the edges you know of each different elevated area you'll really want to just tap tap the button so that our mountain will uh, get a little bit more realistic and natural looking so now what we got is something that's a lot, a lot less and cinder <laughs> looks a lot less you know circular and stuff like that and um, so that's pretty much what we got without painting it right now we'll go into painting it here in a, just a little bit and um, 
Here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other side as well, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back and I pretty much completed, uh, you know, kind of expanding and making the land kind of connect to each other and stuff like that. But I stress, do not, you know, uh, do the erode because it will take out a chunk of whatever you're doing. So basically right here we already have a kind of like a beach end style thing. So basically uh, I grabbed the paintbrush tool now and I kind of want a beach. So basically is I scroll over to the temperate from this and I just kind of put in some dirt you know trying to make it since we don't really have like a I don't have the desert theme at least yet so I can't really add sand but you know it works just as fine so we kind of have dirt right there just in this little area and uh, a good thing right here is called the uh, it kind of looks like uh, little stones that you'd see in water so I like to just go around and add this in the watery sections and it really makes it look uh, I'd say pretty much like what you're kind of looking for in the bottom of some water and I see that I kind of covered this a little bit too much and I'm gonna go back and uh, paint with that a little bit grassy you know because in projects where you can make stuff look exactly how you want it um, you can do whatever you want with it and I'm just going around doing whatever I want with it maybe just showing you guys a little bit uh, easier way of doing stuff and um, what I've noticed is um, Definitely do grass on the ground. Don't do grass on the side of mountains because it will look kind of like that and that doesn't may necessarily not be what you're going for as it, it saves again. Um, I, I kind of like the, uh, if I can freaking get the right, kind of like the mountains kind of looking like that. So basically that's what we have right now and we are going to continue going around. Um, that's pretty much the basic uh, tutorial that I have here but I'll be adding on to this and um, you know you pretty sure you know the uh, paintbrush and stuff like that you can do a little dirt trails and just you know adding a little bit and if you want to get your land a little bit more elevated definitely go to the expand tool and just kind of hold in a little bit you know just tap it tapping is probably the best option you have whenever you want to come to land and creating little different land formations tapping is definitely something that um, really works best for me because I mean if you hold it down you really get something you probably don't want but this looks ex more natural and um, now as I paint this here it uh, definitely looks really really uh, realistic and you can apply this to your map or whatever that you're doing and what game mode you're creating and it's really really clean and easy way of doing things and um, so basically just clean this up and uh, and if you want to add this like the snow backdrop on top of the mountains it's uh, nice and easy due to the elevated of nature uh, all you have to do is kind of just like I said just tap it or drag it uh, depends on how much snow you want but at the top of these mountains you can add your snow just by being up top you don't have to switch anything and the lower you get the more uh, greenery, greenery you're gonna get so if you don't really want that many trees you know you just gotta tap it again you know what I mean so if you want a tree right there you're usually whenever you're tapping it you're gonna get a tree <laughs> regardlessly if you're down low so if you don't want that tree there um, or at least a, a surplus of trees just go ahead and just tap it and uh, what I'm doing around here is I'm not holding it down I'm just tap 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 so that's what I found the easiest way of doing things and it's probably the easiest, easiest way so you got to remember just uh, once you go from the cylinders you want to go a road and um, expand everything you know just by tapping it so I'll just add a little uh, little dirt path here just kind of going out and uh, this you can just hold down or whatever you want to do it's just a dirt path <laughs> so uh, this has been Oxy Clutch on day one update uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time